Uh, my name is Kevin Madden, and um, we are the Absolutes. And uh, this first one is, this first song is titled, Keep the Faith. It's based off of our work called, He Shall Inherit the Earth by Charles Wilbur White. Um, pretty much, this is a, an original that I composed. Um, looking at it, you see the, um, so it's a very, it's, it can seem like it's this dark picture, but I saw it as someone that was looking forward to the future. Someone that was looking forward to a brighter future for the child that they're holding here. So the piece that I wrote is, it's, you know, it's got a minor tone, but it has some, some moments that, you know, close to music, there's some major points. Um, I try to want to, you know, provide a contrast of all the things are looking kind of bleak right now, you know, better times are coming. So that's why I say keep the faith. <laughs>
so I'm Max Bradley, and as I was saying before, today is my birthday. Yeah. I could not ask for a better gift than being able to play with these guys. I've been playing with them for years now, and this is the last concert I'm going to be playing with them before I leave Charleston. So it's a bit emotional, but it's a wonderful present. So the next tune that we're going to do for you is Cupolas and Rooftops, which is by Corey McCallum. And it was a very colorful piece. Uh, it's, it's very playful, I'd say, with the architecture of Charleston. It's very loose. And I just wanted to write a loose, playful sort of tune. The sort of tune that you would play while you're you know, walking down the street in downtown Charleston on a sunny day. So this is Cubelos and Rooftops. Thank you.
Thank you very much. So now we're going to switch to a little, a different bit of weather in Charleston. This one is rain in Charleston by Thomas Franzilli. And uh, overall, the, the shapes are sturdier, the colors are a lot more limited, a lot grayer. But there's still something about it that was kind of playful to me. You know, the composition of it was very playful. So what I did, this piece is a, a bit more rigid, uh, but I played a lot with the time signature. So there are a lot of parts of this song that don't quite come in at expected times, uh, kind of like Raymond Charleston. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy <laughs> Raymond Charleston. Thank you. 
entirely off of my initial reaction to this piece. Uh, I was, you know, in a, in, a, in a room full of wonderful portraits, um, most of them done at the beginning of the uh, 20th century. And then I come across this one, and I like, I have to double take at it and take a look at it, because it's fish. Suddenly it's a fish. Uh, it's still a very nice, you know, still like fish, but it's fish. So I like immediately took that reaction and turned it into a song. So this might not be necessarily about the stillness of fish. It's definitely about my reaction to this piece. This is still like a fish.
last tune that I wrote for this concert, so I don't hog all of it up. Um, this one is called Changing Power by Lonnie Holly, and it was made in 2015. And a lot of different influences went into creating this piece because this piece, obviously, it's a very modern uh, construction. It was made of lamps, wiring, other broken bits and pieces that were recovered from the Emmanuel Church. And I had, I had to look, put a lot of thought into creating this one, how I wanted to reflect my experience with the piece, my interpretation of the piece, and just the experience in general. So, a bit of a serious piece, but I hope you enjoy it. This is Changing Power. Thank you. 
by Alice Ravenel Huger Smith. And um, she actually uh, created six pieces, six artworks. Um, I took three and created my own mini series of it. And um, it's kind of like an online theme. This one is called Taking Seed Rides Down to Fields. And um, as you can see, it's pretty self explanatory what's going on. Um, well, one thing that this series does is it kind of romanticizes the, the slavery era um, as far as what actually happened. You know, it looks very cheerful, but you know, as our history books tell us, it wasn't quite the case. But um, what, I, what I kind of did was I wrote a piece that, that represents the, the cheerful sort of romanticization of the picture here with some, some undertones that kind of refer back to the, the not so good parts of what actually happened, but you know, kind of my biggest thing is just looking forward to the future and having that, like, keep the faith, having that hope for tomorrow. This is called the process. And um, the theme will kind of, you know, reveal itself as I keep going. So this one's called the process.
Thank you again. Uh, again, I, I titled that last piece, The Process. And it kind of goes along with this next piece. Uh, the artwork is called The Harvest Slow. And um, you can kind of see the, the water in the background, uh, which represents, you know, kind of water slow. That, that's kind of how I envisioned it. But um, uh, I tied the two, this piece and, this, and the, the previous piece together, the process, and I titled this tune, Sowing Seeds. And um, I view the two go hand in hand. I feel like um, to get from one point to the next, there's a process, and in that process, the sort of things you do to prepare yourself for the next step in your life or whatever you're, um, whatever you're doing. And I titled the Sowing Seeds, and I kind of, from the whole, the whole uh, series, I, I kind of got this idea that those that were, you know, enduring slavery at that point, they were sowing three types of seeds. The first seed they were sowing was seeds to the actual seeds, you know, uh, the rice, uh, cotton, you know, whatever they were doing actually manually, and I, that was actually tangible. That was the first seed they were sowing. The second seed I saw they were sowing towards uh, their the slave masters or whoever was above them, and that didn't always pan out. You know, a lot of times you want to think you do good, you get good in return, but you know that didn't always happen. But the third seed that I saw they were sowing was the seed for the future for people like me, myself, those who are who have an opportunity now to play on a stage like this, um, who can you know who have their freedom, who are treated as human beings and. And I, overall, this series kind of gave me a, a higher sense of gratitude for those who endured that during that time period. Because um, I've always known that, you know, you know, respect those that came before you, but this kind of put in perspective and, you know, just kind of gave me a higher sense of gratitude for that. So I entitled this one Sowing Seeds uh, to kind of capture.
Larry Bird on the drum. Fisher Wilson on the bass. And of course, Matt Bradley, Bergen Man, on the bass. And of course, Matt Bradley, Bergen Man.